So we have a question for you. Is this discriminatory or revolutionary? Good credit is the key to being allowed to join a new dating app. It's called SCORE. And if your credit score is lower than 675, your ass can't join. The company Neon Money Club is behind the app. They say they are trying to aim to bridge the conversation between finance and dating. They say the app will be available for a limited time and applying will not impact your credit score. Those denied access will be sent resources on how to improve their credit score and say just scurry along peasant <laughs> joining us to talk about it jay bradley rich lux layla e and demetrius walker so jay what do you think about this app i'm not mad at it man i know it's a little bit exclusionary i get it but these dating snob streets, <laughs> these, <laughs> these dating streets man like i want somebody that also has the great poupon that they can pass you know what i mean so like my hat says man lord please protect me when i'm in these streets man and, and this is one more way that uh you know you get on these apps you don't know who you're dealing with it's also you, not only are they verified people but you know at least that y'all have some of the same financial decision making abilities rich agree absolutely they need to hire at least 800 credit score because i'm tired of people at least the guys i date ask me can i borrow 20 dollars can i borrow 40 dollars <laughs> baby i'm tired of people hitting me up for money and i want some quality people that got some bread take me out to eat all right it. layla you eating <laughs> or what oh lord um, back in the day this probably wouldn't have been the app for me because i i didn't care about that but all of y'all that in your 20s you need to care about that um mm -hmm. as you get older you realize that you know certain things Things you do want to align with with yourself and that includes finances which is you know one of the number one reasons why a lot of people get divorced in the first place right so if you can already start the playing field and be leveled at some capacity then I think that's a, a great way and it's great marketing too I mean if you had a 650 we're gonna go ahead and give you these pamphlets on how to raise it I think it's genius like get your life together yeah. you know and Demetrius you're a successful businessman you can reach down and bring a woman out of squalor and make it work right <laughs> exactly exactly that's why I, I disagree with the app and you know I, know, I appreciate that a young black man developed it I think if anybody wants to be on there go ahead but we can't forget that there's inherent racism built into credit scores the mm -hmm. same way they're built into standardized mm -hmm. tests and I think unfortunately because of that there's so many things uh, historically that have plagued the black community in particular when it comes to the credit scoring system that is inherently built into that system of credit scoring. So. And Jay, don't you feel bad now that you agreed with it? <laughs> not at all, not at all. I mean, if you, you black, whether you white, whether you Latino, you can get your credit up, man. I, mean, I feel like at the age where I am right now, the, the women that, that I, I'm looking to date, should have gone through some things and, and you know we all like I have a lot of I'm a real estate broker so I have a lot of doctor clients I have a lot of attorney clients that when they get out of college their credit is horrible I get it but at this point in life you should be you should be able to recover and be back get your credit back up so now nah, six seven, six seven they're better come on all right I think that age, um, I think age does play a big part on why mm -hmm. this app could be, you know, very vital. But, I mean, I actually kind of agree with you when you really think about, you know, the nooks and crannies. And everyone doesn't necessarily have a, a reason at fault why the credit score is bad. But for a lot of people that want to get this conversation out of the way, this is a, just a great way to just handle it and do it. But so, Richard, you're not saying pull yourself up by your bootstraps and understand until you get it together? But some hot people have bad credit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So I know a couple hot guys have bad credit. <laughs> well, you know, credit, credit score is not an objective way to judge someone's character. You that know? is true. Right. Yeah, somebody, you know, exactly. Somebody could have opened up the light bill when you were six years old in your name, you know. And, exactly. and that happens yeah. to a lot of mm -hmm. people, oh, parents yeah. and family members put credit in kids' names and, and they have no clue yeah. until they're of age and they realize it. There's a lot of scammers on a lot of these websites, though. Mm -hmm. So so this kind of takes that part of it out. You realize that whoever you're dealing with is who you're dealing with. They've had a background check. They've had their credit check. It, maybe the credit part could be exclusionary. I get that part. But, but to, to take the scammers out of it, I think that means hey, a lot. Hey, man, I, I know some, some scammers in A-Leaf that could get my credit score up overnight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So 48 hours only. 48 hours, man. You know what I'm saying? How long after the that show? Call. I'm, trying to, I'm yeah. trying to get on the site. I'm trying to get on the site. No place. Oh, my God. Y'all are so bad. And for those who are wondering if this is the app that they should 
try. Would you guys agree with that, disagree, and let me hear from all of you. I think you should try any and everything that comes on um, as an app or as a dating um, app. I'm a big believer in, um, you know, you could find your potential person online. So no matter the app, if it's Farmers Only, <laughs> Score, whatever it is, go ahead and sign up. What, what else is going to yeah. happen? You can just delete your profile. I, I say do it. It's important to just fish in different ponds. You just never know who might be out there for you. Yeah, I'm going to decline on this app. You know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, you know, even banks are moving away from using credit scores for mm. lenders. Uh, you know, we're looking at community-based lending uh, practices that are coming online now. We're evolving past credit scores. I said there's a they lot go of the man. There, there's they go a, the man with the man. There, he with the system. There, we cannot just There's, a, there's a lot of pee in the dating pool. This gets you to the non-pee oh side of the pool. <laughs> <laughs> the pool just got warm. <laughs> got warm. It's uncomfortable. Oh. Everybody been in the pool all day. Nobody got out, but everybody's drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us here on The Factor on Sense